Uh, back again. Um, supposed to be cooking a ham shank, but unfortunately they've started cooking them now. If you know where I can get one that isn't cooked, uh, let me know in a comment and I'll see about getting one and I'll cook it for you. people back cooking again this time um, I'm making a trifle which is the next on my list um, <laughs> to tell you the truth I've cheated I bought a trifle it's easier to buy one make it up from the stuff that's in the packet than what it is to start from scratch buying everything separate because it'll just cost a fortune uh, now what I'm going to show you is how to make a trifle. You get the little biscuit things. You don't obviously put them in like that. You break them up. Like so. And I've made some jelly but I've had to leave it to cool because it's going into a glass dish. Uh, it tells you to do three quarters of a pint which is roughly about what I've got here so now I'm going to pour it onto it if you hear a big crack it's the dish is broke <laughs> there we are it's all dog see sediment in bottom we need to get that out and you always make sure you need the sediment in the bottom wait a minute right i'm just going to swirl it round to get rid of all the sediment that are in the in the bottom of the jug Now it's got to go into the fridge for about 10 minutes or until it settles. As you can tell, I've made a mess of my cooker. Now, I know you haven't seen it, but the jelly is set. So now it's time to make the custard. And what you do is you pour the custard powder into a bowl. Look at that. Now it says two tablespoons of sugar. I never use a tablespoon, I just use dessert spoons, which is one, two. And it said add a little milk and put the rest on to heat. Or I'm going to put the rest on to heat first. And then add this a little bit in here. And let's mix it. All you've got to do is just make sure all the white powder has gone and you've just got to wait then for the rest of the milk to boil before you add it to the custard. Now it's bubbling, as you can see, well probably can't see but it's bubbling. So you add it to the custard, you leave the ring on because you're going to have to turn it back to But it's also a good thing not to burn your milk like I've just have done. And now as you can see, well you probably can't see, but that has gone very, very thick in a matter of few minutes. So now I'm going to turn it off and add it. Turn the ring off and add it to the jelly. Now I'm going to add the custard 
to the jelly. Because the jelly is now set. It took a bit longer than 10 minutes. It, it, when it gives you times of how long it's going to take to set, it's just a rough, like, rough guideline. It's not exactly how long it's going to take. Like I say, it's been years since I made a trifle. And I'm hoping this one turns out as good as the other ones used to. Right, I'm back again to do the last bit, which is the dream topping. Which is just the top, it, technically it's just cream. Uh, all I'm going to do is... I'm just, it says you've got to add four fluid ounces of milk. I haven't put quite enough in because I'm trying to make it fast. So you put all that in, empty that in. Now I'm going to whisk it, which it says whisk it, uh, but I'm going to take the camera off because it's a bit loud. Now it's been whisked, so now I'm going to pour it all over. Scrape it out with a spoon. Before I spread it out, I'm just going to tell you if you do get a trifle from anywhere where you want to, supermarkets, there's some sprinkles with them. Now, the sprinkles I've got are chocolate ones. And like, there are, I don't know if you can see them, but because the chocolate, and as probably nearly every one of you knows, my son can't have chocolate or cheese. So we're not having chocolate, but well, we're not having cheese obviously on a trifle, but we can't have chocolate either. So, well, I mean obviously you can put sprinkles on, but I'm just showing you, you can have sprinkles, but these are chocolate. So we're not having a man. And as you can see, this is now the end product. Um, it's I started making this at five o'clock, and it's now five past eleven. It's took. It, it seems like it's took ages. Well, I'm gonna have a bit of my supper, and I'm gonna really enjoy it. Uh, well, I hope you like what you've seen. Hope you keep viewing it. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. Uh, if you want me to make something, leave a comment whether you want me to make it or whether you want me to cook it, just cook it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to me, don't be frightened, I'm not going to bite you. Subscribe to me. The more the merrier. Okay, thank you. Bye.